Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your guru and in this video I'll teach you an awesome magic trick in Excel about how to be, how to create searchable drop down list. Now what is a searchable drop down list? Let me show you an example. Now the, these are certain names that I have out of which I've created a drop down list. Now usually say if if I have a name like Paris Hilton written over here. So what would happen? that uh, the complete list would open and I would have to scroll down to find, okay, this is Paris Hilton. Or say, for example, if I go to beer nine, I would have to find, okay, where is beer nine mentioned? However, in a searchable drop down list, what would happen if I type, say, if I need to go to beer nine, B E, that would be enough for me to type, click on this drop down and you'll see all the things which have, which start with BE and here is BR9. Isn't it easy to look at at least? <laughs> okay, now I'll tell you quickly how to make this. This is a searchable drop down list, an awesome trick. All right. Now, before I start the video, I'm sure, the, uh, let me tell you, this is a very advanced uh, tutorial. So I have used around nine formulas over here and you, you might have to download this file from here to learn this formula completely. So for, feel free to go to mylesson.org and download this file for free. I've also tried to mention the links of my videos on all the formulas that I've used in this video to create this. All right. Now to create a drop down list, what we have to do is first of all, okay, we have to list the names which would be included in the list. All right. Let me just delete this aspect for you. Okay. Now, then we need to assign them a ID number. Okay. Which would then help us in pulling up this auto creating an auto suggest list. Let, let us go over these one by one. Okay, first we have these names for the drop down list. Now what we'll do is we'll give them unique IDs. How we'll give them unique IDs? We'll use the search formula. Search, what are we searching? Well, we are searching this text. This is where we'll create the searchable drop down list. Press F4 to fix this. Where do we need to search it? We need to search it over here. Okay, now we can simply copy this formula, press F4 to fix this also, copy this formula across, now wherever it found it true, wherever it found drum, it gave it a value 1. Now we need to convert this into a true and false. So we will nest this formula in is number formula. Is number N U M B E R bracket close. You get it. Uh, true and false. All right. Now once we get a true and false, what we can do is we can actually now start working towards assigning specific IDs, unique IDs to them. Unless and until we uh, give a unique ID to each of these numbers, each of these names, sorry, we would not be able to create an auto suggest list. So I'm trying to create a unique ID for them, for each name. Now, I for that, I'm now using the if formula. If it finds that true is mentioned over here, it should say, one and if it finds a false is mentioned over here it should say a zero bracket close now see we have been able to generate a numeric id for everything for any any name which matches the name mentioned over here like rum it has one here again rum four is has been assigned an id one RAM 411 has also been assigned a ID number 1. 
Now, though we have been able to create an ID for these names, however, they are not unique. So to create a unique ID, what we can do is we can use the max formula. What would max formula do? We would make it, uh, we will create the formula in such a manner that whenever it encounters this name for the first time, it will give it the value one. And if it encounters it for the second time, it would add one to the previous number. That means if this is one, then this would become two and the third rum would become three and so on. How do we do that? Well, we go to the if formula again, we edit it and we edit the true statement over here. Value if true, well, if the value is true, then use the max formula. Run it from here to here from B1 to B1, fix this by F4, close the bracket and plus one. We will now copy it and you will see that wherever you find the word rum, it will have an incremental ID now. First occurrence would have one, the second occurrence would have the number two. Third occurrence would have number three. Fourth occurrence would have number four. We can do the same for, say, vodka. <laughs> nice name, sir. So wherever you'll find vodka, this is the incremental number. One, two three and so on. So now we have been able to give them a unique ID, which is, which is now dynamic. So which these IDs changed based on what is mentioned in the, uh, in the search box over here. Now we need to create this auto suggest to create this auto suggest. We would have to use the VLOOKUP function. Now for that, first of all, I'll have to use the rows function. Rows function would do would simply help me create dynamic lookup values what to look up for in the you look in for for this formula now auto suggest list should be as list as long as the list of the original names all right the, this range should be as long as the range of the names over here now what we have done is that we have been able to let me just, this formula would be complete once I fix the first step. So now what we have been able to do is that we have been able to create unique row numbers for all these rows. Now this would help in correlating in looking up the values over here. Like for one, we can look up one and we'll get vodka. If we look up two, we would get vodka 14. I believe you get my point. Now I'll use VLOOKUP over here, VLOOKUP, lookup value, we are looking, this is the value we are looking at, the numbers that we created using the rows formula, this is the table array, we are looking here for the second value, which is, the, which are the names, comma zero, bracket close, and here's your auto suggest list, see? Now we can get rid of this NA by simply using the if error function. Now, what is the value if you get the error? Well, I'll open the double quotes, close the double quotes, close the bracket, and copy the formula over. We'll create a null value over here. And now, now that we have the list auto suggest list created, let's te test it once again. See, Paris, all the words which have A, all the words which have a E, A, E, I, O, sorry, U. So I tested the balls. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, now since we have the auto auto list created, all we need to do is to get it to 
uh, populate somewhere over here uh, it here all right to do that we would have to create the offset function now the offset function would be used to actually define what would be the variable height of this drop down list because see if i search for you i was able to come up the auto suggest was able to come up with 10 suggestions but if i search for e i believe it was able I, we got 18 suggestions now the height of this drop down list would also have to be then variable we cannot fix it so for that we will be using the offset function how let us see is equal to offset the reference would be this number this cell sorry we are not bothered with the rows nor with the columns we are bothered with the height to get the height we will use the counter formula this is the range select the complete range as long as the range should be as long as the list of the names and the criteria should be i'll be using wildcard characters over here anything that has a text so i'm entering double quotes question mark asterisk double quotes close so i was able to create uh, offset function also now all I need to do is just name this see it is working properly and I see good now we need to so now since this is referring to this range this offset function is referring to this range and this range is variable. What we can do is we can name this range. We'll go to formulas and we'll go to name manager and we'll define a name over here. Since we have already selected this cell to define a range. So Excel automatically gave this name to this range. So let I'll keep it this way, this, this itself. If you want, you can change it. But before doing this, sorry, I made a mistake. You have to, before, uh, creating a name for this range you have to copy this formula press escape don't worry the formula is still copied then go to name manager then go to create you can this uh, excel would automatically give it a name but you can give a name yourself also all you need to do is go to this place refers to type in the formula sorry paste the formula i forgot to fix it using F4 so I'm fixing it now and we have this range created Nicole Kidman okay now the last step go to this search box go to data go to data validation and choose list now in the source since we are using a named range Press F3 to call up the name manager and choose the name you want, the name of the range. In our case, it was Nicole Kidman. Press OK. Go to error alerts and check this off. Otherwise, it won't allow you to enter any small uh, anything at all other than what is mentioned in the names section. Now, here is your drop down list. Let's search. Thor, TH. See? Cool, isn't it? I hope you like this video. You can download this file from mylesson.org and practice along. So, until the next video, this is your Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.